Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max DM Crafting. In this episode of The Trial guys, we are trying to complete the dungeon with dungeon walls for Hero Quest guys. This will allow me to expand the horizon of the fusion tile system in a nice way. I already prepared some dungeon walls for the fusion tile system in the past for the sewer tiles and stuff like that. But today we have this little end guys. This little end is a new piece as you can see, this one is a lock piece for the fusion tile system that has like a hole. This hole allows me to put a screw inside the base of the walls for add the okay, extra weight, but also for eventually use some magnets. But this will be you know a chapter for the future. Today I'm just creating the first bunch of walls and uh, we will uh, mount them on this stuff and we'll see what we happen, okay? Crack on! For the thickness of this we need to understand how much this will exit from the base, you see? Like so. So now we just need a bunch of stripes and of course we broke this And now the thickness for the base part, so like this. This is the thickness for the base of the walls. The idea is pretty simple. I want to have a base that is actually like one side of the tiles. Okay. Then we have the actual level for this. Then we will have another couple of pieces of the same height doing this. And then the actual wall. That's it, okay, and yeah, these walls are one inch and a eight high, okay, so I want to create a bunch of them, like uh, two inches long, one inch long, some corners, some three inches long, and uh, some four inches long, maybe some, you know, some corners longer than others. Let's experiment. But for now, for sure, we need to create bricks. So let's start the music. It's also very important to understand that all the bricks must align. So I'm creating one centimeter thick lines for the bricks.
For the ones using the metric system, these are uh, three centimeters tall walls. Three centimeters, okay? More or less. I have a lot of tutorials for my brick techniques. I have several of them, but you can check them on the channel, okay? Now I'm proceeding just with a simple one. Okay, now the measures, it's very important to be very precise. So I will create, first of all, some uh, one and two inches pieces. So let's cut the edges, first of all, with a straight angle. Easy peasy. And then we measure two and one inches pieces. Let's start with two inches. Yeah. Let's cut them with a perfect straight angle. Now we need to finish all the sides like this with a couple of lines. Now the same with the strips. These are test pieces, guys. I cut them for testing the laser cutter so. They are not cut very well. It was my first project. You see a lot of scores, but okay. Now we need to place exactly, exactly in the middle these pieces. I'm going to poke out like this the holes. because with the cardboard you can easily go through the cardboard with a screw but with this wood it's very difficult so with the laser cutter I prepare these little pieces also I will keep these little uh, bodies here you see They can be beautiful rivets. Now, once again, we need to calculate exactly the half of this piece that will be the base. Okay. 
so one inch like so and we proceed with the assembly of the piece let's put some glue We have this pieces that are not one inch, so we can use them. Another check for the position. Another bit of glue. This is like a tiny, teeny piece, guys. I like it very much. Now let's make a corner. inches and a quarter, another two inches and a quarter. Let's cut this. And then another one, two inches and a quarter by one inch and a quarter. So two inches and a quarter and one inch and a quarter. Now you put the very thickness of your piece like this and you mark a line. Then you do the same on the other piece and you mark a couple of lines. One, two. Now it's just a matter of cut off the excess here. See, one, two. I need a better cutter. Central one here. So now you can you know, combine perfectly the corner like this. Drying time, guys, and uh, I want just to spend a couple of words because uh, this is not a necessary, you know, uh, add for the Fusion Tile system. I mean, it's not necessary for the Hero Quest gameplay, but we already seen that dungeon walls, in this case, they can be also used for uh, raise your tiles. And uh, this will be a great add for the game board. Waiting for the drying time, and then we can uh, put some uh, black coat and we can paint all the walls. I created eight pieces in less than one and a half hour, guys. So it's quite a simple project, and you can choose if you want them or not in your game board.
Okay guys, this is it for today. In the next episode we will continue the trial dungeon with the torture room and many corridors and stuff. Remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, if you very like these kind of projects, please put a comment in the description box below. Till next time, happy crafting!